Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. Today we are playing Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown. Now, this one seemed really interesting to me. I love the the looks and aesthetic of it. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, it's just got a very diorama look, which is really interesting. Uh, but first, before we jump into the game, let's take a look at some of these uh, options here. So we got the Joy-Con controls. Um, nothing I'm going to remember right now. Hopefully there's a decent tutorial system in this. Uh, some settings, no no language options, but we do have some subtitles here. Uh, narration, oh nice, very good. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'm going in at this blind. Um, so, yeah. Intended way to play Table Tales. Advanced combat challenge. Yeah, obviously we are not going to do that. I mean, I don't want to just do the, you know. Yeah, let's go the way it's intended to be played. Now, again, I was kind of interested in this just because of the way it looks. It just looks really kind of cool. Is it going to read it to me? Guess not. Hey, little magpie. Not so little now. I guess if you're reading this, it's been a long time. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you again before. Well, you're grown up now. Before I died, the solicitor just wanted me to tell you th this. It just wanted me to list this with other items, but I knew you'd appreciate something more personal. Besides, I left you something special. You'll find it in the attic. Look for the key. You'll figure it out. With love and adventure, Aunt Moira? Ma Maria? Maria? Oh, hello there. Oh, my. Feels like I've been asleep for years. I suppose you're wondering what this is all about. I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. I am the master of the table and a prodigious teller of tales. And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. Oh. I hope you're ready. on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their venture. Who are they, you ask? Pick them up and see for yourself. Alright, so now you can see we have some sort of tactical battle situation here. I do actually want to see something. I want to change the settings. The The audio is not very well mixed. <laughs> you, you may notice that. You may have to change it yourself. The narration needs to be at 100%. I feel like it's buried in the mix here. Uh, the waves were definitely uh, burying everything. The music I could barely hear the music, but the sound effects, we'll, we'll see how that, how that makes it. So I want to, I want to save this. Uh, no. Okay. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm fighting. This is Hammer, a violent thug who's really good at solving problems with her ironclad fists. Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary, a genius of experimental potions with a rather questionable clientele. I can't really move them. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hitting A on them. Introducing Horatio Nine Lives, the thrice blessed. The swindler came up with that name himself. Oh, there we go. Now I can move them. Wait, what is this? Oh, I can't. I wanted to see that chest. This one calls herself Nuna, 
don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. I won't ask. As the storm swells, Captain Frost abandons the wheel. As her there at the rail shouting nonsense into the wind. The crew aren't happy. They've bewitched the captain! Yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this storm upon us! We must take the ship for ourselves! This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it down. Hard. Time to fight. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pips to move, attack, or rest in order to defeat your foes. I, I mean, I hate to do it again, but the, the audio is still not well mixed at all. It's just too, too, the, the narration is just too buried. All right. Still buried, but that's okay. We'll move. Um, so I have actions in which I can move form. Move scoundrel next to a phone. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power pips. Okay, I'm looking at the pips. I got one expended actions all right cool so you can rest which will heal steel fist i'm not in range i'm literally right next to him okay now we're not in range i'm so confused all right maybe i'm not supposed to fight that dude Let's fight this dude. I don't even know. What did I do? Play this card on an ally within range to expend power pips and give oh. them a boost. On an ally? I don't want that. I want to Play do this. this card on a foe within range to expend power pips and attack. There we go. You there. Come on. Come on. Okay, can I really go there? What the heck was, what was that? All right, all right. You just you just stay there. Can you attack from here? There we go. One enemy down. Fair move. Oh, let's swap places. Oh no. This guy is taking a freaking One of your scoundrels beating. has lost all their health. They can't do anything unless someone revives them. Can I? I can. I kind of want to do that. Move to target range three. So this might only be like a diagonal. I don't know. I have no idea. Still have some movement left. I don't need to do that. Uh, how do I? S oh, I can angle down. All right. So you come on. I'd like to use a D-pad, but man, the controls are hurting, hurting me. I can't. I can't do anything. Oh, come on. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Oh, boy. Um, swap position. And then attack. One of the remaining crew comes up from below to join the fight. Oh, man, we got a dude up there now. Actually, I don't even need to move. Uh, range the uh, defense. 
Ooh. I just hurt my own dude. Do you have anything? Yeah, you do that. And then, all right, you're gonna come after. All right, cool. I mean, I wanna revive the player. Wow, okay. Revive player. It's not... Okay. It's kind of hard to tell who it was highlighting, if it was highlighting anyone at all. Alright, but he's, he's a ranged character, so it's kind of important. Come on down, boy. Yeah, I'll handle him. Oh, yeah. KO. Another sailor oh. comes on deck. Looks Damn, like come on. Crew is in on the mutiny. The scoundrels will have to defeat them all. So that also gives me defense as well. And I guess I can move too. I'll start moving. Up. Oh. All right. Do I have more movement? No. Oh boy. Looks like this one's gonna need some help on this side. Oh, jeez. Do it again. The ship's cook appears. Cleaver in hand. <laughs> oh, the that's cook? All the sailors accounted for. Oh, my the gosh. That's all right. Done. That's all of Hang them. In there. There we go. Noise. Still have to move. Do I have an action? There we go. All right, who else? Oh boy. She did. Come on. I'm gonna try this again. I'm highlighting that one, highlighting that one. One more. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. It's gonna get right. All right, your turn. What you got? Should be the end of it right here. You've defeated the mutineers, but you still need to regain control of this ship. There is a lot going wrong, and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this oh storm. Oh boy. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The oh my more God, I do that. they contribute, the better. 
Oh, Place geez. them on the skill checks and see for yourself. Skill checks? Alright, you got some intellect. Alright, so that is okay, that is you. The rope is about to snap. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. That's you. Uh, you are good in finesse and charm. Let's see who else we got here. Nope, not you. You. Your strength. Beast. Right there. The captain has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. Okay. You are. Ah, uh, you're kind of in the middle. All right, so this is finesse of charm. That is here. Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. Maybe she should just take it easy. You know? What about you? That's going to do it. Now what? What do I do? All right, I can I can rotate. Oh, she need to go over here? The mast is creaking ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. I think I'm done. Captain Frost. Can I move you? No, I can't move you. Oh, one more. You are intellect. Yeah, no. Why did she get the out of the way? Is about to snap. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. That would be her. Go. Do I have to action? Oh, okay. She lowers her gun. Oh, good. Okay. I heard it calling out to me, my ship. Save my ship. Or at least die trying. Something Whoa. was influencing her. Something in the storm. But there's no time to worry about that. She just freaking jumped off. Secure cannon. The rabbit goes back into his hole. Yes, they did it. I the did it. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, this will be interesting. Oh, uh -oh. I did that too. You oh no. Needed that mast. At least no oh, jeez. Under it when it fell. All right, that was a fail. We're gonna steer the boat. No propulsion method, but that's a. Oh no, there is one more mast. They strain against the wheel and manage to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. You've done all you can for now. The ship's as safe as it can be. And just as well as a giant wave is about to roll over the deck. Oh, jeez. I've always wanted to say that. Unfortunately, for these scoundrels, there are only enough safe handholds left for three people. What the heck? One of them is going to be washed overboard. The question is, which one? Is Did we get to you choose? To hang on. Oh, jeez. Once you've made your decision, pick them up and throw them overboard. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um... Who failed? I kind of wanted a mage in the party. Okay. Peace. Threw away the rogue, I believe. Deep beneath the waves. Only three scoundrels left. Knowing them, 
Their first thought is that this means a larger share of the treasure. There's no time to mourn or celebrate. You've survived, but your ship's badly damaged, and you're not alone. Oh. That's the Sunfish, the personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though, <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Well, yeah. Those, those aren't sailors. They're orcs. The most feared pirates in these seas. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare to be boarded. No. I'm not ready for this. Can I reach? I gotta step up a little bit. Oh wait, can I go up to? I can go up to the cannon, I think. All right, I do want to step up a little bit. There is this move I want to do. Go where the mast was. Heal four, booster shot. Can I get a little bit closer? Down. Nope, stop. I want to move this dude. I thought it said knock back, but it did, it's not knocking them back at all. Can I do this thing? Bingo! Actions. Fire cannon. That must have hurt. The cannons blasted away one of the orcs. Just one? Alright, I think it's their move. Maybe not. Oh, I guess I'll uh, armor up. That should be it for now. There we go. Now you've limited yourself to a little alleyway. And, oh, wait. I didn't realize that was there. I am in trouble. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. Um, you, my lady, step here. I should be able to KO one of these. Good, but um, you see, knock back one wasn't knocking anything back. I mean, not that it matters; it's dead anyways. But still, no, I want to take damage off of the board if I can. Now this does big numbers here. We'll see what happens. Not enough. Um, I'm good there. I, don't, I mean, I don't really want to move. I guess I can move here. And nobody else has movement, right? Nope, nope, nope. All right, we're good there. Okay, it was telling me that I had actions. Oof. This is the big the big boy right there. This dude's got armors. It was a little Assembly easier. Free Governor Sanko, who is very grateful, and Captain Starlin, who is embarrassed he wasn't able to escape his bonds in time to help. Your ship's in no shape to sail. You should come with us to the capital, offers the governor. Okay. Now what? Oh, I gotta get in there? I accept your offer. The governor's right. 
Your storm-battered vessel is headed to the bottom of the ocean. It seems the scoundrels have no choice but to bring their precious treasure aboard the Sunfish. Excellent, says the governor. Take the cabin next to mine. When we get to Half Arch, you shall be properly rewarded for your bravery. Okay. Where's Half Arch? I don't see it on the map. And largest city of the Crown Islands. Oh, nice. Home to fishers, traders, smugglers, artisans, privateers, and scoundrels. That'll be us. I'm Come assuming. with me. Insists Solomon Sanko. Oh, the nice. The governor is determined to make good on his promise. Later that day, after a feast in his estate, the governor surprises the scoundrels with something they never thought they'd experience. Fame and glory. We'll hail the heroes of Half Arch. Thomas Turlinger. Thank you, thank brilliant you. Brilliant apothecary dedicated to helping others. This is Hammer. Warrior of true conviction and strength. Nuna the Wise, who protects us with mysterious powers. Unfortunately, our heroes can't stay for long. Why not? So let's drink in their honor. Without further ado, let us begin the hero's celebration. Hmm. Awesome. So I can kind of just roam through here. Come on, I just go, I want to kind of look around the town. All right, but it looks like I can take these characters and move them around to these areas and talk to these NPCs. Uh, but I'm actually going to end today's uh, game preview here. Now, it's doing a lot of good things here. Like, I really do like the aesthetics of it. Um... Although the controls need to be tightened up, need some work. Like, I'm not sure who I'm highlighting at times. Um, maybe there's something can be done there. I'm not sure. The audio mixing at default is not not right. It, you definitely, sh if you're playing this, you're going to want to edit those those defaults because they're just, they're way out of whack. Um, the spatial audio, when the narrator's talking, um, I, I get it because, you know, she, the... The narrator is in certain areas. Um, I think I'm not sure where she is right now. I mean, but it definitely talks out of that one, one left side, right side. So the spatial audio is correct. It just unfortunately, when you don't have it in stereo, it just seems really low. So everything else is just so loud, and everything else is kind of loud to begin with. Um, but like I said, it, it's got a lot of cool things going on with it. Just a few things need to be tightened up a little bit. Now, there could be more to the game that we're, we're not experiencing yet. And there probably is, you know, more skills, more spells, uh, things of that nature. I'm sure you can obtain new ones through maybe possibly side quests. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next preview. Goodbye.